So as, um, as always, as I consider myself being a dialectic person, we have two antipodes in this piece. The one is the, the, the sound, a lot of noise that comes from recordings of ambient that I did at different uh, locations. And the other one is, the, is, a, is a female voice, it's a soprano which sings a piece of mine, which I use as a material for that. And those two worlds are uh, mixed in a, in, a, in a special way with a convolution, this is a sort of sound morphing algorithm that I use there, so that the, 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 the voice of this, um, the sound of the, of the voice uh, filters, so to speak, the sound of the, of the noise. And this is done by an automatic process which runs here, and this here. So between noise and voice, in the, in the middle you get the purely common signal. When I show you the different uh, sound words now, first we have the pre-noise. Um, maybe uh, this would be interesting for me to know what, what did you notice, which sounds, or maybe with which types of sounds in mm -hmm. the noise component? What did you hear? Like uh, traffic. Trucks. Right? Traffic, yes. Machinery. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of whispering in the voices. Yeah. Uh, the brakes. Hmm? Brakes. The brakes of the car. Mm -hmm. yeah. As voices, yeah. Well, I, I show you the, this is the revelation. In Vienna, we have a very famous cafe house, Cafe Brücke. This is the place where the uh, Bush, uh, the, the, the Bohem meets. Yeah? This is a recording, a, a field recording I did there. Just people, it's, there's no music. There's only people sitting, drinking coffee, talking. Yeah? Then we have um, a spook house. You know, Geisterbahn, spook house. I recorded in. Um, Bosch in in, in, in in September I was there for a, for another project and I went to Sertogenbos. There was a, a um, um, Kirmes, Kirmes yeah. and the and the Geisterbahn is Buchheims and I had my my Zoom recorder here recorded that. Uh, this, the, the machine is a kinetic sculpture which I recorded in a museum in in Toronto. That was uh, sort of a robot was scratching on the wall, producing very, very nice sounds. Then my own uh, uh, steps on the on the pebbles, walking. A woman breathing, breathe, breathe, breathing, 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 breathing. Uh, traffic in Toronto. Uh, the subway in Berlin, uh, line number nine, S nine, and. This is the only uh, thing I didn't record myself. This is a sample of frogs in the, in the water, uh, swimming and, and making them. <coughs> um, those eight different sounds are um, mixed together in, in, a, in a quite uh, unusual way. Because uh, if I would have done a, a random uh, mixing of the sounds, I would have no control over the level. It's obvious. If I <coughs> all eight open, I would get uh, overload. If everything is down, I would hear nothing. So I had the idea of using a sort of uh, cascading crossfaders, so that I always make a crossfade between two sounds, like here, and the crossfade of uh, there are two other sounds, like three and four. The crossfade guarantees that the level is always constant, and then the crossfade of the crossfade is crossfaded, and in the end it's crossfaded again. Do you see that? And by this, you and the and the crossfade itself here, auto xf, is controlled by a, a random algorithm that has a certain behavior. You see now it's in the middle, dwelling for the time. Now it goes on the right side, means the Geisterbahn now will be more audible. And by using this cascading crossfader, you can really get any mixture, any combination of all eight sounds. So this is the, the one source. Uh, the, the sound itself are uh, looped, but also transposed. So there's a, a transposition algorithm which makes a time-variant uh, 
transposition between the transposition factor 0 0.5, means it means an octave lower, and 1.2, that means a third higher. In this range, it makes very slow moving time variant, basically some in time. Yeah. Okay, this is the one sound. This is, uh, we can hear it, listen to it now. So this is the mixture, so what you get now. Synthesis, um, it can change between different modes. The one is the freeze mode. What you hear now is, is just going, uh, jumping into the sample on a random position and making a sort of freeze. With a very slight variation of the of the offset that you can, uh, you know, otherwise you would uh, uh, get this, this very annoying um, repetition sounds. And the other mode is the um, the freeze mode and the walk, uh, the um, walk mode. So now it's walking slowly through the, the sound family. Here you see the, the offset of how it changes. At the moment it work, works, it walks backwards in the sound, but it makes no transposition. It's just a moving in the sound. different grains are, um, are uh, triggered, so to speak. The speed is also changing within a given range and also the grain size. And this guarantees that there's always a, a variation in the output, so you'll never get this typically a granular synthesis sounds that, that often have some loopy uh, uh, appearance. Now you have this automatic control, which I do now manually. So here in the middle you get the purely convolved sound. And as I go more to the left, you would only hear the noise. Saturated with the harmonies of the, of the vocal. which changes the master volume so that's, that the sound is sometimes very soft and then it's coming again. And I'm doing now the hand with the slider. And of course a panel which pans between these big loudspeakers that are right, quite far apart, 25 meters, like this panning, and a reverb that uh, is also changing. So the, the reverb is used to make the, the space, let's say, deeper and closer. 